Is it Albert? Yes. Hi, Matt. How you doing? Hey, Albert. How are you, man? Pretty good. So I literally just finished Wire Room, and man, it was a good movie. I really love these kind of movies where um, it goes one way, but then it goes completely a different route, and then everything comes together like very smoothly. And this one did a great job. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Yeah, um, it was it was fun because to me, I, what I liked about it was. It was a world that I haven't seen before on film, right? Like this, yeah. I've seen I've seen films set in their scenes in a wire room, but what I thought was cool about this was the entire movie literally was just in the wire room. So that was that was a fun challenge. That's what I really liked about it. Also, I like that one space type movie where it's all isolated and yeah, you do you do see the inner cuts between scenes, but the the fact that the main movie itself is set inside this one room, I think that's what did it for me. I like those type of movies. Cool, cool. Appreciate that, man. Yeah. So how did you get to direct this movie? How did this all come about? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I've uh, had a busy few years directing, directing different movies. And I get a lot of sort of contained thrillers and different sort of scripts sent my way. And a lot of them are the same sort of stuff, right? They're like heist movies, or they're home invasion thrillers, things that I've, I feel like I've done before. Mm -hmm. So when I came across this script, it was um something that felt really authentic and genuine there was something about it that made it feel real and I actually reached out to the writer and he said that he used to work in homeland security himself and he worked in like a wire room whatever and I was like whoa this is that that's why it felt so freaking real so even when I was like decided to direct I was I wanted to change things around he's like oh that's not how a wire you can't do that in a wire room and I was like oh damn okay let's let's not change the things then but um yeah it was just that authenticity that kind of that he brought to it really made me want to tell this story and kind of bring it to life. So that was sort of the initial genesis for sure. That's amazing. I mean, to find out that um, he wrote he wrote this from his experiences. I, I agree with you. It brings that more authentic authenticity to the film, and, and it's all and it's all driven by the cast as well. I mean, Kevin Dillon really carried this film. I mean, as Justin and. I like the fact that he's just like kind of fish out of water story also where he's a new guy, you know, it's his first day on the job and he's already in a mess as it is from right. beginning to end. So it's like his whole life is this whole, his whole day is just like gone from bad to worse. Oh, but yeah. of course him being who he is, he's got to do what he can to protect the target. Um, what was it like working with Kevin on that, in that one room? Yeah, no, I mean, definitely I agree. Kevin carries the movie. I mean, it's literally him for 90 minutes. And that's one of the things when you're casting a movie like this, you look at the script and you're like, wait a second, he's, you got to get a really, you got to get a really good actor because he's literally in every scene, right? So it was just one of those things where uh, as soon as Kevin got cast, I was like, okay, we need to chat. I need to figure out we, like how is, how are we going to approach this character and how are we going to make him feel relatable and, and fun and at the same time, adding nuance and different things. And yeah, I mean, he was able to really add a lot of ad lib comedy. There's a lot of little moments there where it was literally just Kevin throwing lines out about, you know, the parking lot or, you know, yeah. uh, that whole bit about um, where he's like, oh, I just showed up here to get a little more action. You know, I was a little bored. That was all Kevin <laughs> and ad libbing. And at the end of the movie, where he's like, where he says, like, God, oh, you know, I don't think I'm really cut out for this. It's just a little too much action for me. That was all Kevin. Just <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> what I like about him is he sort of doesn't look like your traditional action movie star guy. He doesn't look like a ripped The Rock or something, right? He just looks oh, like a regular just, dude who yep. gets thrown into this situation. But he looks like he could competently, you know, he knows how to handle his, himself well. You give him a gun and you throw him in a situation. When shit hits the fan, he'll be able to, to figure things out. So I felt like that gives him as a character... A sort of everyday every man quality where you're kind of relate to him and you're like oh shit, what would i do in that situation right i mean yeah exactly so that, that that was really what what kevin brought to the role and i thought that was uh, a brilliant sort of casting choice yeah i'm glad we're getting more of those every man action heroes now you know eventually you know everyone's gonna get sick and tired of the same old 80s tough guy right. beefed up you know and just like, have a regular person do it and yeah. uh you know bruce willis you know Everyone, you know, we know that he's retired, but th and this is one of his last movies. But it, he, every, I, I feel like every movie he's done as of late, even his last ones, he's made like some sort of impact. And he brought his, 
he brought his smart alecky co- way, you know, comic wit in the, with his role here as Shane. And, you know, when it calls for it, he does get serious, like especially towards the third act. But, you know, we get to see him first do be, be, basically become be himself. Like we, the Bruce Wills we all know and love, you know, just that smart alecky. And, you know, what was it like working with Bruce on this one? Well, yeah, this this is actually Bruce's last movie he ever shot. So this was sort of his. Oh, OK. <laughs> I didn't know we were in the process, but we shot this in last December and then he retired like uh, like a month or so after. So I was like, whoa, man, that's crazy. I got I got to work with Bruce the last time he was ever on set. So that was kind of crazy. But um, yeah, no, it was it was great. I mean, he's just one of those actors that he's a legend for a reason. Every time he's on screen, your eyes are just drawn to him because he just has that X factor. You can't really describe what it is. And as an actor, you don't really, you can't learn it. You just, some actors have it and some don't. And yeah, as that sort of, like you said, that charm, that wit, that sort of kind of those little subtle things that he does, which you can't really teach somebody to like, like the subtle movements, the subtle ways he says things. And, and um, like the last line he says in the movie, he's like, what took you so long? I love the way he just, he said that. And when like, <laughs> it, it was, there was like a comedic way that he said that I thought was like, but it wasn't over the top. It was just so subtle. No, like, it, it was, it's just Bruce. It's Bruce being Bruce. Bruce. Just, That's my thought. It was, it's dry, just, laconic. He's like, took you so long. You know what I mean? It was just, but the way he said it and the look that he had, it was just like, that was genius, man. But yeah, no, it's just one of those things. I mean, it was, it was a pleasure to get to work with him over the course of four years and and uh, all the different movies we did together. So, yeah. Yeah, and and I got to say, man, Texas Battle, that guy, I, I feel like he's, He's forever gonna know him for playing these type of roles, like these bad, bad guys, scummy type roles. And you know, he's born to play it, but I'm pretty sure he's like the nicest guy offset. But oh, he's, it's just he's, he's got this knack for playing bad guys. It's like, is he ever gonna play a good guy? Especially with the name he has. He should, that should be like a good guy name, like a that should be an action hero name itself, Texas Battle. And here he is playing like bad guys. So it's like, so what was it like with him on the set? Yeah, this is the third time I've actually worked with Texas. Another thing, but I've worked with him on Hard Kill, Trauma Center. Yeah, I mean, he's he's a total sweetheart, total gentleman, but then, you know, he just has a way with these. He can take a character who is devious or has that sort of dark side. And it's actually really hard to play those kind of roles. I mean, I've, I've had this experience before working with actors who are supposed to slay scummy or evil. Mm-hmm. And it's just, it's so on the nose or it's just so it's just there's no nuance to it yeah. but he just does it in such an understated way where he's just like having fun with it a little bit where it just it, it works right i mean and it's really tough to do not a lot of actors can can sit. sometimes he didn't have a lot of monologues in this one but the last movie that there was a couple of movies i did with him where there was like long monologues where he'd have to you know those those evil sort of james bondy monologues and he can just pull it off so yeah he's, he's fun to work with love to work with him again so yeah, I mean, he, he he was fun, but he's also intense when it calls for it. You know, that's what that's what it is. Like, I don't, like I, I remember uh, one of the worst movies I, I can't stand, but somehow he still made an impact in Dragon Ball Evolution where he was the bully. Like, he bullies Goku, and then Goku makes him destroy his own car, you know, in retaliation yeah. for everything. But he still played that, like, scummy role. But I don't know, it just felt like he, he – it's like he has a knack for playing it, but he does it, you know, while – somehow making it fun at the same time so that's what i really like about like his like him as an actor like but i feel like with a with a name like texas battle he should be he should be like a hero eventually so hopefully that will go be down the road i know he can play them all i love your uh, collection behind you though geez how many is that blu-rays all blu-rays this is all dvds i got blu-rays on this side here so yeah it's about like 1400 <laughs> i love that though i mean yeah i, I don't have i I, get, I sort of gave up on the physical media because yeah. like, oh, everything's going to be streaming now. I can just totally access anything I want all the time. But now I realize like stuff leaves streaming, and I'm like, if I want to watch something, I don't have yeah. this. So <laughs> exactly, I feel like I should have been collecting my physical media. You never know. Hey, you can get, you can eventually get back to it. You never know. That's yeah, yeah, that's true. Took me took me took me almost a decade to get back into it. So okay, yeah, works for me. Could work for you. So how long did shooting take, and what challenges did you face during shooting? Yeah, I mean, it was it was a tight shoot, man. It was a couple. It was only a couple weeks, and it was really tough uh, having to prep for it, and just you know, and and there was challenges that came about with mostly just the the tight schedule and how many pages, and and I wanted to shoot all of uh, the stuff with 
with Oliver and Eddie first mm -hmm. so that I could play it on the monitors for Kevin. So he'd have something to work with. Unfortunately, that didn't work out and I had to shoot all the wire room stuff first. So it turned out I was um, yeah, having, reverse it. <laughs> yeah, and to reverse it. And I was off camera the whole time yelling at Kevin what he's supposed to be looking at because he's supposed to be watching monitors as things are happening and there was nothing playing on the monitors. So I'm like, okay, and then Eddie blows up this guy and then he kills him and then he jumps over there and then he's at the truck. So it was definitely not the ideal situation, but I think it worked out well. And Kevin was such a good actor. He was able to just sort of play with it and take my rambling direction well. So that was good. Yeah, it looks like he did. I mean, yeah, I, I think if, if, if Oliver, you know, you shot those scenes first, like, I mean, I could see it, you know, I could see it work, but it, I mean, it worked out for the most, most part. I, I think it did. I think overall it was a good job. It was a great movie. Thanks, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, it was fun. I mean, it's one of those stories where it's a simple sort of concept, but it's also a short sort of play and you just kind of check it out and kind of see that tension and suspense and see, see a world that you haven't seen before, hopefully. Yeah, I hope so. Too. I hope people do get to see this. So after this, um, I know it's coming out Friday. What's next for you? Are you working on anything new or did you just finish anything that you can talk about? Yeah, no, there's nothing exactly greenlit yet that I'm jumping on. It's there's a few scripts that I'm reading. There's a couple of things I'm kind of back jumping back and forth for. Um, there's a sci-fi script that I really want to get. I've been working on this sci-fi script for like years. I'm trying to get made. Um, it got close this year and it was like it was supposed to happen. And now I don't know. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I mean, I mean, I love action. I love thrillers. So I'll always kind of come back to the genre. Um, so we'll see. I mean, right now I'm kind of just trying to broaden and try different genres, try different things. So we'll see. Awesome. So Wire Room was coming out this Friday and finding out now that this is actually the last film Bruce Willis shot. Um, that's just mind blowing to hear. And yeah. Kevin Dillon is just top notch in this movie. I mean, he's just been kicking butt lately. And, you know, here he is carrying this film practically himself and does an amazing job. I hope everyone does get to see this for Kevin and Bruce and Matt. Thank you so much again for taking the time to talk about the movie. Hey man, it was a pleasure. Thank you for all, for all your cool reviews and comments and stuff. And uh, yeah, let's chat again anytime, man. Yeah, anytime. All right, man. Take care. You stay safe. Here, man. Bye. All right. See ya. Yeah.